As a blogger and a content marketer, I'm sure you get pitch emails all the time from strangers you don't even know who want you to promote their product. Well, my name is Eileen and I'm with EileenSmith.com and today I'm going to show you exactly what to do with those pitch emails when they land in your inbox. I have something I want to read to you. Thanks for the kind words about the blog post you enjoyed on my blog. Did you have a chance to share any of them or on social media? Please let me take a look so that I can give it a like or retweet. I get these kind of requests all the time where people want a favor, but they rarely reciprocate. Gary Vaynerchuk talks more about how to do it right in his book, Jab, 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 Right Hook. Signed, Miss Eileen. That, my friends, is one of the canned responses that I use for all of the templated pitch emails. And I get a lot of templated pitch emails coming into my inbox where folks are asking me for a guest post or they have an infographic that they want me to publish on my blog. And this goes on all the time. So I decided rather than just put these folks in the trash can, because what happens is when you delete their emails, they email you back and say, oh, just checking up, making sure that you saw my email. And this could just go on and on and on. And you spend time checking these emails. So I decided maybe I should flip the script because one of the things that we as bloggers and podcasters and anybody who's using email marketing know that it's really hard to get folks to read your emails. You know, a lot of times they go in the spam folder or people are just super duper busy. But when someone is trying to pitch you something that they're trying to promote, that is the perfect time to respond to them and flip the script because they are definitely going to read your email, okay? <laughs> because they're sitting there waiting. They've sent this template out to not just you, but probably 30, 40, 50, maybe even 150 people. And they're just sitting there waiting to collect the responses, waiting for all those people that say, oh, sure, I'll post your infographic or sure, you know. And the ones that just start off simply by, you know, saying no or, you know, telling the person off. So I decided that in my templated email, <clears throat> and I'll, I'll just screen share that very quickly for you, that not only do I get their attention, you know, because I'm asking them some questions. Have you shared it on social media? And believe it or not, there's been a few of them that will go back and share it on social media and then send me the link so I can see that they shared it. Then I also tell them, you know, I get these kinds of requests all the time. So in other words, you're not the only one asking me for favor. You know, and I used the example of Gary V. And don't get me wrong, I like Gary V. But I really use that example because I also include an Amazon affiliate link. And there may be someone who's sending a pitch email who really doesn't know who Gary V is. And they may click on that affiliate link and hence go over into Amazon and uh, make a purchase. Okay, so, you know, you might say, okay, well, they're not going to do that. But the point is, I want to reinforce my point that you don't just ask people for fake favors. People have these templated or automated pitch emails that they're blasting out to folks. And 
That's just one of the ways that you can use Google's canned responses in order to respond to them. And at this time, I also want to give a shout out really quickly because I promised that I would give a shout out in my next video. And this who gave me um, a, a repost on Instagram when I was trying to build my Instagram following. And uh, I was almost at 2000 followers and I asked people to you know, share it and Jennifer did. And so Jennifer, here's your shout out. She's over at Jennifer Weiner. that's W-E-I-N-E-R dot website. And she's, she's an author and she writes books and uh, eBooks. So there's a shout out, Jennifer. Okay, so now let's go back over into Gmail. So, and she also has YouTube. I'm sorry, Jennifer, I forgot to say that. And see how these canned responses work. I'll turn off the screen sharing for a minute so I can get the thing set up for you guys. Okay, so the canned responses. What you can do in Gmail, Believe it or not, they have a section that you may not be familiar with that's called labs, Gmail labs, Gmail labs, guys. And how you get to the labs is you go over to the, I like to call it a cogwheel over on the right hand side and you'll go to settings and from settings, you will click on the tab because settings brings you to this page here. And you can go through these settings too and check and make sure all your settings are right because a lot of people don't realize that you can configure your inbox here. But the section we wanna go over into is called labs. All right, and you'll see I have under my section for enabled labs, canned responses, canned responses, okay? There's a lot of other labs here that you can check. Um, here's another one that I like to use, Google Voice Player and Mail. And I have that turned on in a, a different a Gmail account. Okay. You can do multiple inboxes, which I could turn that on, but I kind of intentionally keep mine separate. All right. So this is how you set up a canned response. And uh, we would open up a, a Gmail. And so let's say, um, thanks for your email. I'll get back to you later and then you would want to put your signature there and i actually have a can response that includes my signature so so let's just say okay so now this is my whole canned response so if i want to make this a can response i would say save new canned response and then I would call it uh, out of office. I'll just make up that name really quickly, okay? So now I have a can response called out of office. So let's just say none of that was there. And if I wanted to go here now and go to my can response list, you see there's one right there out of office and see. So you can turn these can responses into good. So guys, I have more tips. Show your support over on Patreon. If you want to get exclusive content for things like this, I do that for my patrons over on Patreon. And that's patreon.com slash Eileen. So with that, guys, I want you to have a wonderful day. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.